Howdy folks, how are you doing today? Have you ever wanted to make a 2D object into a 3D object? If the answer is yes, I've got an awesome tutorial for you. Keep watching. All right, folks, so we're gonna start off by creating a composition in After Effects. We're gonna go with a thousand by a thousand, and I'm gonna change the duration to five seconds. Press okay. I'm gonna name the composition main comp. We're going to start off by creating a black solid. We can do that by right clicking, going to new, solid. We're going to make it a black solid. Now we're going to go ahead and bring our logo in. I'm going to be using the After Effects logo today. And I'm going to just drag that onto the timeline. So now we're going to pre-comp this logo a few times. And we can do that by right clicking the logo, going to pre-compose, and we're going to call it AE logo. And then, yep, make sure that this box is checked off. Press OK. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to right click, pre compose, and this time AE logo 3D. Press OK. Now we're going to open up AE logo 3D to find this composition. We're going to hit this little cube box here to make it 3D. And then we're gonna hit P on our keyboard to open up the position settings. We're gonna hold down Option on our keyboard and click the little stopwatch here. For PC users, that's holding down Alt and clicking the stopwatch. We're going to change this expression to the following. And I'm going to put this expression in the description below. So if you wanna copy and paste it, go ahead and do that. And just click out when you're done. Now we're going to add some shading onto this logo. We can do that by clicking the logo and then searching up curves in the effects and presets and just double clicking to apply the effect. The reason we're doing this is that we're going to duplicate this composition many times to create that 3D effect. So we want to give it a bit of shading so it looks a little more realistic. So I'm going to just bring down the lighting a little bit. And I'm going to make it a little darker here. It doesn't have to be vastly different, but you can go ahead and experiment with that. We're going to duplicate the logo a few times. So you can do that by selecting the composition and hitting Command C, Command V on your keyboard. For PC users, that is Control C, Control V. And we're going to do this many times until we get about 15 layers. So let's check on how we're doing here. We're going to select the first logo and we're going to delete the curves. And then we're going to change the viewing mode. Underneath active camera, we're going to go to custom view one to get a side profile. We can see that we have a bit of progress here, but that is not nearly enough. We're going to have to keep duplicating until we're happy. In order to make this a little faster, I'm going to just select all these layers below the first layer and hitting Command C and then hit Command V, Command V, Command V, and then do this until you're happy with the thickness. Now we're going to go back to the main comp and we're going to check off the 3D cube. And then very important, make sure to check off this little star. This means that the composition layers will show through to this main comp. Now, if we open up these settings, we can play around with the X rotation. We can play around with the Y rotation. I'm actually just going to hit S on my keyboard and shrink this down a bit to about 70. And then we're going to go back to our Y rotation. I'm going to make a keyframe at the beginning. Scroll down a bit and then we're going to change it to one. I'm going to bring out the keyframe a bit to about two seconds. Let's say you want to make it a little extra spicy. We can search for light sweep in the effects and presets. We're going to apply it to this AE logo 3D layer. And then we're going to change the direction so it is going the other way. We can adjust the shape. I'm going to go with a smooth shape here and then we're going to start off screen. Adjust the center keyframe. We're going to make a keyframe. 
And then as it's turning, I'm gonna have it sweep across. Cause this will really sell the 3D. Might actually make this a little longer. And then I might have it repeat over here. So I can do that by copying this last keyframe and then copying these first two keyframes and moving over by one and then bringing these back so it ends at the same time. And that's it folks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the Uwampa Saz channel for more videos. If there's other After Effects tutorials you wanna see, please let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.